Welcome to our channel again. This is Ethan Kohl's from Kohl's Trading, and today we're gonna look at another product from Bang Olufsen. It's the famous BioLab uh, 4000, but this one is the the Mark II version, uh, the version two of the active loudspeaker. The BioLab 4000 MK2 is uh, from 2007. And it's also it has the same design as the previous version, the BOLA 4000. But there are some changes inside the uh, under the hood, or also in inside the electronics. So uh, design is still uh, made by David Lewis, and the colors has also been changed. You can get it in a dark gray and a red black, and also yellow version. And uh, this one uh, is a silver version. One of the physical uh, changes that I've made in the Mark II version, there is no physical button for the on off switch. So uh, that's gone. And also at the back, if you can see, there is no line in input. The line in input is integrated in the power uh, link uh, input. So uh, if you just switch this one to line in and you can just use it as a line in input. That's great to know. The dimensions is still the same. It's 20 by 32 by 13. And the kilo is uh, six kilos, but uh, as I think there is, uh, have, is the MK2 is a little bit lighter. I don't know why, but uh, I feel like it's a little bit lighter. The BLF 4000 MK2 version has a uh, built-in ice power. Uh, there is a, uh, for the long-term maximum output uh, power is uh, 56 watts. And there's uh, two uh, class uh, D amplifiers inside the BioLab uh, 4000 MK1 version. So the Bass produce 30 watts and Twitter uh, produce also uh, f 40 watts. So uh, yes, and I, I just saw the, show the connections the connections you have the two uh, power input power link input and you have the mains and you have the on on switch for the speakers is still the same uh, there has been a slight upgrade for the speakers uh, you have uh, another twitter unit and also uh, another uh, woofer and you can see for the mk2 uh, version the type number starts with 66 24 9 66 42 so today we're gonna do a DSM link process for this uh, BioLab 4000 MK2 version. We're gonna strip all the parts and look inside what we have. Also, uh, the MK2 uh, version has upgraded in the foam issue. There was there's the problem was in the previous version. So that's great to know. Bang on Olufsen ha handle the, that process really well. They have upgraded the the damping uh, material inside the the MK2 versions. So that, that's great to know. So let's start with the, the deassembling process. Let's remove the front grill. Uh, the front grill is still the same. There is no, uh, uh, no upgrade on that. But uh, let's try to remove uh, the woofer and the twitter screws and remove that first. So I'm gonna speed up the process. Uh, remove the four screws and two screws on the twitter and then we can uh, take a look what we have. We have finally removed the, the screws and we can just take a flat screwdriver and lift the, the woofer up. And the woofer is still connected with the two screw two cables. Just need to remove that. And here is the woofer for the MK2 version for BioLab 4000. This has a little bit of upgrade on the the magnet it's look like this and here's the part number put it here and they also have upgraded the twitter the twitter has an uh, has a bigger cooling uh, at the back here's the twitter looks like the same but uh, this cooler has been upgraded so as you can see, the, the white foam, uh, damping foam has been upgraded. That's great. Bang Olofsson has, uh, has uh, maybe, 
look at the customers uh, speak why they have been been so many issues with them and they probably have noticed that the, the, the bad uh, damping material has been uh, a big issue for them and they have upgraded with ice power and also with new damping. So next process is uh, we're gonna take the, the cover off, the waffle off. Um, we're gonna remove uh, all the screws on each side and see what went with. So I'm gonna speed up the process again. And also remember to ground yourself, protecting first. We are now working with electronics, so be prepared. So uh, the screws first and let's see what we end with. So I just have removed the, the screws from the aluminum side. The way you're gonna remove the aluminum, you just need to press it up. So start here and just press up and it will go nicely off. It's holding by these two uh, springs clips what we call them and here is the the aluminium plate I'm gonna put it here uh, the next step is we're gonna remove the old screws around and remove the waffle out of from, uh, out from the cabinet so let's do that we have now loosened all the screws and remove the screws on the on the left side but there is some on the right side but we can just actually pull and remove the waffle and as you can see you can still see the the serial number here and also at the there's bang or and i don't know why they have put the, another label here but uh, yeah they have done it so uh, here is the the plastic abs material something but this also have been slightly changes here and also the button i think maybe i'm not sure as you can see there is a ton of new parts inside the new uh builder 4000 mk2 version uh, you can just remove the the new damping material and also if you are going to install a new damping material you can actually also get the you can reuse them or you can maybe i think you can reuse them because there's no uh, damages you just need to be careful when you remove it here we go and here is the new damping material there is there is this is not equal with the the damping material for the uh, biolab uh, 4000 mk1 version but uh, yeah so we're gonna put the damping material maybe gonna be maybe we can uh, produce some of this one day but uh, the issue is not here on the mk2 version as you can see there are some different parts inside the uh, biola 4000 mk2 version the the amplifier has gotten much smaller and there are some slightly more details and very very small cabinet for all the electronics parts so uh, let's start with uh, removing the the amplifier. The amplifier looks like slight. It looks like the the Biolab Four, but uh, I'm not sure if this is if it can fit into the Biolab Four. But uh, we can remove it and maybe we can compare it to each. We have now removed all the screws from the amplifier board, and uh, this amplifier board is very small for the previous version. And here is the amplifier board. It looked like the amplifier board from BWF 4, but uh, I'm not sure it will fit. Uh, I think the size is the same, but here is the, the small amplifier for the BWF 4000 MK2 version. So uh, the next step, we're going to remove the uh, LED board. Uh, it's connected here. Uh, it has a small screw here. And I think uh, we should see what we... I think let's try to remove some screws and see what we end with. And we have removed the screws and here is the LED board for the Biolab 4000 MK2 version. And this is the PCB board 4, look like this. So next step is uh, we're gonna remove the, the main board. So the main board is holding by five screws. So we're gonna remove that. I'm gonna speed up the process again and see what we end with. So the last screw is removed, so we can just lift the main board up. Let's see if we can remove 
it. Let's try to remove the ground connection. Here are some cables. And also, I don't know why Bang All of them are using these uh, isolation cables, uh, isolation thing, because these isolation uh, foam will also uh, uh, do some damages in the long term because after the air moisture is going into this one, uh, the problem will also be like the BioLab once. So I don't know why they have used it, but uh, if I was you, if you have a, a MK2 version, I will just rip off the isolation cables and remove these, these type of foam because end of the day, these will, uh, will uh, be rotten and maybe it will get your BioLab uh, 4000 MK2 version damaged. So I will remove that if I was you. So uh, let's try to continue to remove the main board. The main board is holding on the two cables here. And here we go. Here is the PCB board three with the, the two power input, power link input, and the switch for right and left and line. And let's remove the cable. Looks like that, and we have the part number. Here we go. So next step, we are gonna remove the power supply board. The power supply board is uh, located here. So uh, the power supply board is holding by six screws, what I can see. So I'm gonna speed up the process again, remove all the screws and see what we have. So all the screws are, are removed from the, the power supply board. You can just lift it up and here is the board like this uh, it's also very different from the, the previous version for the MK1 version look like this so uh, let's try to remove all the cables from here and let's unscrew all the screws from the, the chassis all these uh, PCB board holders so uh, I'm gonna split the process again, remove all the screws and see what we have. We have now removed all the screws from the, the chassis and we can just leave up the, the frames. It's very nice build actually, the frames. So uh, I'm gonna put it here and remove this one. Still some screws on the plastic and look like this. It's very well built. They have uh, Bang Olufsen has uh, has developed the MK2 version very nice. So uh, we have this here. So we actually done with the deassembling process. Also, if you have in in your mind, uh, if you have people at four thousand and you have think think okay, should I upgrade it to the MK2 version? I don't know if it's worth it because the design is the same and they have only upgraded the ice power so um, yeah and you also have uh, not the line in input from the main board so uh, yeah if you have planned to upgrade you can upgrade the woofers are nearly the same there is not much too much upgrade on this one but uh, if you have plan and you have the budget to do it you can do it so uh, let's uh, clean up the table come up with the parts as we as usual, as usual do. So uh, yeah, we have now lined nearly the, all the, the parts uh, at the table. Let's start with the frame. This is the cabinet for the BioLab uh, 4000 MK2 version. I think this is the same, but the holes are completely different. So you, can, you cannot use the same frame for each models. But if we look at the, the waffle, I think there's nearly the same. We just need to be sure if the, the on off switch can be going through this hole. So if you can, you can actually use it, but I'm not sure. Uh, what we can really use is the frame beside the screws. The frame uh, is the same for this one. So uh, you can actually change the color a uh, cover if you are planning to do that. And also the, the dimension for the aluminum uh, frame is still the same. 
And here we have the damping material for the MK2 version. Uh, we have one more damping uh, inside the, the Biolab uh, 4000 MK2 version. And here we have the, the cabinets uh, holder for the PCB boards. Look like this. Here we have the Twitter unit. Slightly also upgraded with a bigger cooling uh, pad at the back. Here we have the woofer. I don't think they have, this one has been upgraded, but this is for the MK2 version. We have some cables and I will uh, I will recommend you, if you have an MK2 version, I will recommend you to open your build up uh, MK2 version and remove these uh, these uh, foam thing they have been used for the cables I don't know why maybe the electronics is not gonna disturb or any I don't know if you have any uh, thoughts why Bang Olufsen have using these materials around the cables uh, give me a, a comment here we have the, the amplifier board and the LED switch it's not actually on a switch, it's just a switch. Here we have the main board, PSP board, board 3. And we have the power supply board. And it looks like this. So uh, this is, was, uh, was a complete detailing process for the build up uh, 4000 mk2 version mark 2 so uh, if you like this video uh, give the thumb ups like the video and subscribe also to my channel so uh, stay tuned and keep watching my videos if you want to uh, learn new knowledge for bang olufsen products so uh, stay tuned and have a nice day